Hi guys, thanks for tuning in and welcome back to my tutorial series with WooCommerce. In this video, we are going to discuss a really interesting topic that is how to set up multiple product prices for an individual product. Before we dive into our topic, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to receive more awesome contents with WooCommerce. With that all said, let's crush this. Have you ever wondered how to set up different product prices but for an individual product? I'll show you how to do it. Log into your WordPress dashboard and hit on products, attributes. So setting up multiple product prices for an individual product can be done with attributes. So there are basically two types of attributes in WooCommerce, which is global attributes and local attributes. So global attributes are attributes that can be applied to any products in your store and they are reusable. Local attributes, on the other hand, are not reusable and they are specific to a single product. Now I'll show you how to create a global attribute. So before that, let's see what an attribute is. Let's say you run a t-shirt in your e-commerce store with different sizes and colors. In this case, the sizes and colors here are the attributes. Similarly, I'm going to create attribute which are sizes and colors to my e-commerce store. So the name of my attribute will be color. Slug is something like a unique URL. So let it be C as simple and hit on add attribute. So now we have created an attribute. So to this, I'm going to add values. So hit on configure terms. So the color will be black. So hit on add new color. And similarly, I'm going to create a gray color. Hit on add new color. So now we have successfully created two different uh, two different colors in a single attribute. So now hit on products, all products. So we are going to create a variable product to add these attributes. So hit on add new. And I'm going to create a t-shirt with these attributes. So my product name will be t-shirt. So this is definitely a variable product. So I'm going to give it as variable product. Hit on attributes and add the attributes which we created, which is the color and select values for it, which is black and gray. Don't forget to save attributes to save these attributes. And next hit on variations, hit on generate variations and hit OK. So now you can see the different variations for t-shirt got created. So edit it. Now let's set prices for this. So now I'm going to set up my regular price as 500 and sales price as 400. So similarly, we'll do it for the gray variation also. Hit on edit. And for the multiple prices, we will have to give a different product here. So let it be 600, the regular price, and the sales price will be 500 in this case. And now the gray t-shirt is a bit expensive than the black one. All right. And now hit on update. Now let's go ahead and test to check if it has got reflected in our website. So I'm going to go to my store products. So here is the t-shirt which we created. So now we can see the two different types of variation, which is the black and gray. When I choose black, the price is 400. And when I choose gray, my price is 500. So this is how you set up multiple product prices for an individual product. That's it for this video. I hope this tutorial was useful. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel to receive more similar tutorials with WooCommerce. See you in my next video.